my intentions, everybody. So I had to get up at a really, really, really early o'clock, and I had my Spanish final, and I did really well on it, and I just had a whole thing of coffee, so we're gonna make a video. I've never just walked around and made a video before, so this should be interesting. So it's not really raining here, but whenever I walk under trees, rain falls on me. Arr. So yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm going to be talking about. So we're, we're gonna find out together, okay? I guess one of the things I wanted to make a video about sometime in the near future was um, being motivated to do things that you don't want to do. For instance, my Spanish final. If you don't follow me on Tumblr or Twitter, um, I have not been doing very well in Spanish. And I spent all day yesterday studying. And that is not something I ever do. That's why I'm getting tired of switching to the other one. I'm not a studier. I learn everything in class, usually, and that usually works out really well. Um, but in college, that hasn't necessarily been the case whatsoever. So I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how to stay motivated for things that you don't really want to do, or maybe things that you do want to do and just haven't done yet. Um, either one, these will probably be applicable. I don't actually know what they are yet, so they might be applicable, but we're gonna, we're gonna find out. The first step is to decide what your goal is. This can be anything from passing final to learning how to play the cello. If you're going to do anything, you have to decide what it is you're doing. Um, that's usually how things work, even with like your body. You can't move your arm around without deciding to do so. So yeah, decide what it is that you want to accomplish. Second off, get organized. Oh no, puddle. <laughs> Big puddle. <laughs> Organization is not really something I'm really good at. I'm kind of an improvisational person, so planning things ahead of time, not my gig. For example, this video, I just kind of grabbed my camera and walked outside and here I am. I actually don't even really know where I'm walking, so if I get lost, um, then you'll never see this video. So I guess I can't really tell you to come save me. So yeah, that's not something I'm good at, but... You can be good at it if you sit down and take the time to do it. Switching arms. Ow. Let's write down a list of all the steps you need to take in order to accomplish your goal. And what I've been doing recently is organizing my day by hour. And that allows me to get little bits of stuff done before it needs to be done. Big raindrop just fell on my face. The third step to doing something that you do or do not want to do is becoming apparent to me that these tips are applicable to both. Bravo Kayla for that. <laughs> the third step is to implement your plan that you came up with in the organization step. And don't wait until tomorrow. Do it right now. There's nothing stopping you from doing it right now unless you're like on a bus or like about to die or something then then you really shouldn't have done either step one or step two. You should be focusing on dying. Do the things you want to do now. Don't wait, ever, because tomorrow never actually comes. If you want to do something, start right after you watch this video. I'm gonna hold you to that. If I see you posting a comment underneath my video, I am going to be very disappointed in you. Not really. I'm actually going to be really happy if anyone comments on this. So I hope everyone has a marvelous day. I will see you next time. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the users if you want to see videos of me regularly. I post every Friday, so that's fun. Yeah, that's about it. Toodles!